a drug 10 times more potent than morphine, which can dissolve the skin of those who use it. We're talking about what is colloquially called crocodile, a mixture of substances that, as we'll soon see, has truly devastating effects on its users. But what exactly happens to your body when you take crocodile? Why is it called crocodile? What's a crocodile got to do with it? Welcome to a new episode of The Effects of Drugs, our series that analyzes drugs closely, obviously to get a better understanding of their effects. So we'll stay away from them. Its use first became prevalent in Russia in the early 2000s, and it later spread to Europe and the United States. The secret to its success? It's definitely the ease with which it can be produced and, certainly, the low cost of its ingredients, which make it exceptionally cheap and easy to produce even at home. You will have noticed that I spoke of a mixture. I did so precisely because, in reality, crocodile is the result of several substances reacting together, including, get this, even gasoline, hydrochloric acid, and red phosphorus. The core element in its preparation, however, is a psychotropic substance, meaning a substance that is capable of altering our psychophysical abilities. The key element in crocodile is desamorphine, a substance that was synthesized well before the early 2000s. Just imagine that its patent dates back to the 1930s, and it was granted to the chemist Lyndon Frederick Smalls. I know it may sound crazy, but initially, the substance was even marketed under the name permanent by the Swiss pharmaceutical company Roche. In fact, desamorphine was used as a medication. Specifically, it was intended to serve as an alternative to morphine, thanks to its very powerful analgesic and sedative properties. Over time, however, desamorphine was abandoned due to its potential for abuse. In short, it was observed that patients tended to develop a certain dependency, and they therefore decided it was best to set it aside. Almost a century later, it seems that the substance is back in vogue as the primary ingredient of crocodile. But this video's key question is, why is it so addictive? From a biological standpoint, how exactly does it affect your body? And then, why does it have that name? Let's ask our chemist, Dina. Here I am, Andre. So, let's start by saying that the unusual thing about crocodile is that it's not a pure substance, so it doesn't come in the form of pills or a white powder like the vast majority of psychotropic substances. On the contrary, crocodile is a mix of substances, and specifically, it is a solution, so a liquid containing desamorphine and other substances, but we'll look at what they are in detail later. Anyway, Desamorphine is a very potent opioid, so it falls into the same category as morphine, heroin, and fentanyl, just to give you an idea. And as a sedative, desamorphine is 15 times more potent than morphine, and as an analgesic or painkiller, it is 10 times more effective. However, compared to morphine, it has a much faster effect and lasts for a much shorter time. And remember this aspect, because it will help us understand why it is so dangerous. Now, we said that it's an opioid, so it functions in a similar way to other opioids. For this reason, crocodile is thought of as a kind of poor man's heroin, because it causes effects that are similar to those of heroin, but at a much cheaper price. This is because it's relatively simple to produce, in the sense that all you need are a few easily obtainable ingredients, and you can make it at home. The process starts with codeine, a substance found in various medications from which, by means of several chemical reactions, you can obtain desomorphine, the active ingredient in crocodile. Once all the chemical reactions needed to produce crocodile have taken place, what you actually end up with is a solution in which not only the desomorphine is dissolved, a part of the ingredients or reactants will be in there as well. Among these, we have gasoline, for example, which is the solvent used to dissolve the codeine, but then we've also got hydrochloric acid, caustic soda, and even red phosphorus, which is on the side strip here, where you strike the matches. Well, all these substances, in addition to the desomorphine, partly remain in the solution, and as I'm sure you'll agree, injecting a gasoline solution containing hydrochloric acid, caustic soda, red phosphorus, etc. into your veins is anything but a healthy thing to do. However, pure desomorphine, without the solvents and other harmful substances, although still a dangerous substance, does not cause gangrenous limbs or people's skin to dissolve, which are things that do happen with crocodile. 
So, it's actually these additional substances that cause the damage to the tissues of a user's organs. In extreme cases, the skin can dissolve to the point where bones are exposed. And this is where the name crocodile comes from. In fact, in Russian, it means crocodile. By causing infections, necrosis, and ulcers on the surface of your body, crocodile use actually makes your skin look like the scaly armor of a crocodile. Moreover, in some cases, these wounds take on a color that ranges from greenish to blackish, just like the skin of a crocodile. There is also another theory to explain the particular name. In fact, during the production process used for the original patent, that is, the one from 1930, codeine undergoes several chemical transformations to turn into desomorphine, and one of the reaction intermediates is called alpha chlorocodide. Actually, I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation, alpha chlorocodide. And from that, well, the word is reminiscent of crocodile. So, we can say that the name comes in part from the visible effects that the drug has on the human body, but also from an intermediate of the chemical reaction. In any case, once injected into a vein, this mixture of substances can travel undisturbed by your circulatory system throughout your entire body. At this point, the first effects will appear, including meiosis or pupil constriction, and a strong sensation of warmth. The moment desomorphine reaches your brain, you begin to experience the typical psychotropic effects of opioids. Numbness, drowsiness, profound relaxation, mental confusion, and mood swings, but also nausea, constipation, urinary retention, and dizziness. Furthermore, the desomorphine molecule can also bind to the specific receptors that cause an abundant release of dopamine, the neurotransmitter of pleasure and well-being. However, as we mentioned earlier, compared to other opioids, such as heroin or morphine, the effects don't last long. And the fact that the effect is short-lived might seem like an advantage. One might say that if it doesn't last long, it will do less harm. In reality, it's actually the opposite. Its short duration makes the substance more dangerous because it increases the risk that you'll become addicted and, above all, that you'll overdose. In fact, if the effect wears off quickly, you'll need another dose right away, and then another, and yet another. In this way, your body develops a certain tolerance, meaning that to re-experience the same beneficial effects that you had at the start, you will have to continually increase the dose. And if you don't do that, then you'll start experiencing withdrawal symptoms. Your body becomes physically dependent on the substance, and if you don't take it, you feel absolutely terrible. Drug withdrawal is a truly terrible condition where you start to experience cold sweats, trembling, limb pain, insomnia, paranoia, and absurd anxiety. In short, a situation that's anything but pleasant. Prolonged use of the drug crocodile can also lead to limb necrosis and the damaged limb's consequent amputation. But it doesn't just wreak havoc on your limbs and skin. Crocodile also damages your bones, muscles, blood vessels, and obviously, internal organs as well. And it does so irrevocably, which, in extreme cases, can even lead to death. Another risk associated with crocodile use is respiratory failure. As with other opioids, an excessive dose of desomorphine can lead to respiratory depression and hypoxia, which is when oxygen no longer reaches your body tissues, also resulting in death. As we saw with Dina, crocodile is a very, very dangerous substance that causes immense suffering to those who use it. So. It sounds predictable and trite, I know, but we obviously urge you to steer clear of it. We urge you to steer clear of them all, of all drugs, especially crocodile, which really is appalling stuff. That said, if you've missed our other episodes, I suggest you catch up. I'll put them in the description for you. Thanks so much for watching this video right to the end. We'll see you for the next one, right here on Geopop Everyday Science. Bye!